All right, so our worms come in today. We're going to weigh them, the actual bag of worms, and then we're going to go put them in, the, in their final resting place, hopefully to prosper and bring us lots and lots of new worms and castings. All right, let's open these up right quick, see what we got. They came right before I was supposed to leave for work. We need to do this in a pretty good fashion as far as being in a hurry. Looks like a pretty nice size bag, don't it? So what I'm going to do is just weigh the bag itself. I ordered two pounds of worms. If I get my thing to come on here. And we got, I don't know if you can see that or not. Everything weighs 3.8 pounds, so we almost got a full pound package right there. So I have no doubt in my mind that he has hooked me up with a good amount of worms. DNS Worm Farms. I'll put a link in the uh, description below to his website. He's actually got a, a really good website, and he's actually here in North Carolina, Lexington, North Carolina. Is where he's from so let's run out there right quick and put these worms in the uh, freezer matter of fact here's Steve's card that he left in the box for me so DNS worm form now I want to I want to show you this I did I forgot to film it a while ago but I took some uh, squash zucchini there was a banana peel and a little bit of uh, uh, potatoes that we had left over for uh, supper I put them in a, a blender and blended them up and uh, I put them right here in the thing from what I've read and seen on YouTube and everything else it's better to grind this stuff up so it's in small pieces that way the worms can digest it a whole lot quicker and it uh, helps cuts down on the soldier flies I seen a video where a guy kept saying he was having problems with soldier flies and I seen another video where a guy saying if you're having trouble with soldier flies, you're feeding your worms too much. So uh, we're going to try to not feed them too much and keep the soldier flies away. But what we're going to do now is uh, let me adjust this just a little bit. What we're going to do now is just dig a little place right here in the middle of the worm bed. It's actually down to the uh, cardboard and uh, get these babies out. What they came in, it almost looks like or feels like a uh, pillowcase. But like I, you seen a while ago, it weighed 3.8 pounds. So I'm kind of excited about that. They're supposed to come packed in the peat moss and that they have. I don't think I'm going to be able to open this up where you can see, actually see in the inside of it. but. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside. So we're going to pull them out right here. Let's see here. These are big worms too. But as you can see, lots and lots and lots of worms. I ordered two pounds worth, which I think is going to be around a thousand worms. And uh, I'm thinking that's pretty close. I'm not 100% sure on that, but they're good quality size worms. I've seen a video where a guy ordered a pound of worms from somebody, and he ordered, he weighed them, and they weighed not even a quarter pound. They had sent him some junk. So Steve hooked me up. Uh, full disclosure, Steve didn't know anything about me doing a YouTube video, so he didn't send anything out, any special or anything like that. So, matter of fact, when I get through making this video and the other one, I'm going to send them to him in an email and get his input on my cooler and see what he thinks. But, from what I've seen, he did me right. So, like I said, in the video, I'll put a link down there to y'all if y'all want to order worms from him. You'll have his uh, information. I'll also put a screenshot of his card up to so y'all will have that so the worms are in there we're gonna leave them alone for probably a week and then we'll come back and uh see how they're doing but i'll keep giving you updates probably weekly 
if not every other week of how they're doing so hope y'all doing good if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and as always we'll see you on the next one